What's up folks, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. In this one, we're gonna do a quick overview of the Go Fish Cam. What it does, what it is, what it comes with, how I use it, all those points are gonna get answered. So basically, and in short, this is a underwater submersible camera that you would tie in to your rod and reel and troll to capture video of fish actively chasing or hitting a bait or lure. I know that sounds like a lot, but basically this camera gets cool video of fish actively chasing bait. How you would use this camera is it works with an app, so you would download an app to your smartphone that's gonna allow you to review the media, delete the media, um, and also set up the settings on your camera. Uh, you would tie this eyelet into your main line of your fishing rod and reel. I like to use a swivel on this point. The camera itself is on this side, so a swivel is not going to help it here, and you can use a quick disconnect to take it on and off super easy, super quickly. Now on this side, I do not use a swivel. I'm going to tie directly onto this eyelet. Why? Because I don't want that swivel swinging around in front of the camera. Um, flashing light and just basically distorting the image. So tie it, tie your leader line with your bait or your lure directly to this side of the camera. Also another quick tip, make sure that your main line is heavier than your leader line. For example, I would use 60 to 80 pound test over here, 20 to 30 pound test over here. Why? Because I want the if I do catch something that's too big to handle, then I want the line to break in front of the camera and not behind the camera because I want to keep the camera. <laughs> so just a quick tip on how to rig the Go Fish Cam. Um, I'll show you some examples of the video that the Go Fish Cam captures. I typically use this in salt or clear water applications. So only when the water is super clear. Um, is when I would go to the Go Fish Cam. Any muddy or dirty water, you would really need to have a short leader, and even then you may not capture any video of, of the fish that are actively chasing your bait. What comes in the kit? Well, you're gonna get the Go Fish Cam, you're gonna get one lens cover, and then a second lens cover. And as you can see, I have scratched this lens cover up, and it's to no fault of the product. It's my fault because I was storing the Go Fish Cam in my tackle box without the protective bag or without any protection whatsoever. That basically means that this lens was just rubbing up against whatever it was next to in the tackle box. And as you can see, I've got scratches on the lens and you can see those scratches in the video as it records. Now what this product is not is a live scope cam. You're not going to be able to see a live image directly from your camera to your cell phone while you're fishing it. This is a, you're going to capture video and then go back and then check out and edit your video after the fact. So what comes in the kit? You're going to get a spare lens, lens cover, lens cover. You're going to get a float. I 99% use this as a trolling camera meaning I would troll this behind a boat or a kayak with a live or artificial bait. I never cast it, again, because I don't want to damage the camera or damage the lens, especially around pilings or docks or rubble or shallow water. So another way you can use this is set your camera up, slide your Go Fish Cam float on top, and uh, this is basically a camera that's filming directly below a certain location. So this would be great for docks or for pilings or for piers if you want to see break through the surface of the water and see what's underneath. So two ways to use it, troll it or uh, use the float and drop it straight down. We're going to go ahead and pop that off. Then it comes with a protective bag. Always keep it in a protective bag. A sunglass case is also great for the Go Fish Cam. And then of course, a charger. The Go Fish Cam has a internally built battery. So you would simply just recharge the, the camera directly to a uh, external battery pack or a wall outlet or a computer, that sort of thing. So a uh, great product, lots of fun. If you're a fisherman and you like to take pictures and videos of your adventures, 
then the GoFish Cam can add a uh, different element to your videos. So thanks for checking out the video. I hope it's been informative. Y'all take care.